Good morning. Today is Monday, July 24th, 2023. Camping up at good old Betty Brook up in the uh, Burnt Rosman State Forest out in Schoharie County. It's been a while since I've been up here. I don't love coming back here just because the road is so bumpy. It's just, you know, it's just a lot of stones. I don't like to beat my truck so much. I mean, it is, uh, you know, the truck is 12 years old. There will be 12 in October. And I just worry about breaking shit. But, uh, yeah, I decided I wanted to do the Catskill Scenic Trail. Did Mine Kill Pool two times so far. I'm going to hit it up one more time. I'm going to go out to the Catskill Scenic Trail at the Stamford this morning around 10. I'm going to ride down to Bloomville on my mountain bike and then uh, head back to Stanford, maybe poke around the village a little bit on the bike, maybe get some ice cream, then I'm going to hit up Mine Kill and then head to my parents' house. My summer vacation starts Friday, so I want to get home relatively early, so, uh, you know, it's not going to be a real long day, but, uh, you know, I've already started to camp down a little bit. I had um, some eggs with a lot of vegetables and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I've been staying up later. I was up to 11 again last night. I'm going to switch to sleeping from 11 until 7 uh, for vacation starting this weekend. And for, you know, just because uh, I feel like that way I can maximize the day. The pools are usually open until, a lot of them are open until 7 in uh, Finger Lakes. And the thing is, when I get back, the sun time will have changed enough with the earlier sunsets that I will be able to go back to, I think, uh, into bed early and then, uh, you know, getting up at 6. Yeah, so I can do my walk when I'm back home. So yeah, Betty Brook hasn't changed much. I mean, it's still here. I mean, uh, Betty Brook Road, it's about as rough as it's always been. It's not terrible. I just don't like the banging along on the truck. Even though I go real slow, I, I'm putting it in four-wheel drive low just to keep the speed down. I know it's only three quarters of a mile, the rough stuff, but you know. In my experience with my old truck, is that you know, you bounce along with an old truck, things start banking off and I don't want to abuse the CV joints and the ball joints any more than I absolutely have to before, especially before vacation. And I just ran enough to put a lot of money into fixing up this old truck. If I can keep it running as you know as few problems as possible, I'll go easy on these dirt roads. And it's a nice truck, but it's getting up there in the years. Uh, maybe next year I'll get replaced it. We'll see how things hold up and what needs to be done. I gotta check the oil before vacation and just look over, make sure everything's good, but it's been driving great the whole time. It's been great this year. So yeah, this is Blackie, my mountain bike. Um, I don't love the mountain bike around town, you know, in, Del in Del Mar, because, you know, on the pavement, it's slow as heck, and it's, I think the weight of the bike is 31 pounds without any gear on it, but now you yeah, have the kickstand, the rack, and the basket, and the lights, and... You know, I pack a bunch of stuff in the back, you get close to 50 pounds, that, that thing can be a real lug. Although it's fantastic, this basket. I mean, I love, I don't know why I've never had a bicycle with a basket, but it's great. You run to the store, go grocery shopping, toss it all in there. And it's on a quick release, so you can just, the screwdriver, just pop it in there and the basket pops off for loading. Or for some reason, I want to make it a little more aerodynamic, although, truth is in. I don't think it makes much difference. That mountain bike's not fast. I mean, it'll do 12 miles per hour on the flat terrain. And you can get up to 15, 20 on a good steep downhill. But I mean, where it, it, it shines, like on the Calskill Scenic Trail, those rough trails, the, you know, the, the, the gravel and even some, you know, minor rock stuff, you unlock the front suspension. It, uh, it's great for that. I mean, I'm sure mountain bike trails, same thing. It cruises along. It's, you know, six, seven miles per hour, even slower on the real rough terrain, low and low range, and it's it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, uh, it's been a great weekend. Um, I did, did uh, 26 miles of the Catskill Scenic Trail, which sounds like the whole trail, but no, it's not because we have to do the round trip to get back to where I started. So I did about half of it on Saturday, and then after going some of the rougher parts of the train, I was like, I was just so exhausted and sore that. Uh, Sunday kind of started kind of slowly, and then I uh, uh, did uh, New York 30 from the uh, Buck Island uh, parking area, rode up to Middleburg, rode around the village of Middleburg a little bit, stopped at the town park, hiked Roman's Nose, very hazy, then rode back to the, um, um, rode back to Buck Island, got uh, some 
sweet corn and peaches at Shaw's. They didn't have a real great selection. I actually had a fairly decent selection, but uh, I didn't get a lot because I actually had quite a bit in my cooler already. And I just, you know, I'm ca I was camping today. And I didn't be I have enough room to keep things cool. So I am going on vacation this weekend on Friday. So I figured I can get more stuff at the farm stands on the way out. And um, yeah, just move forward. But uh, yeah, it's been nice up here. It's, uh, I mean, Betty Brook is about how it always has been. I got my new camp stove. Um, I had some gift cards that I got for my birthday um, over the years, and I, it was like 25 bucks on top. I think the stove was 100 bucks. But it's a nice basic camp stove. I know you can get cheaper ones, but I want to get good brand Coleman. And it's basically the same as my old stove. My old stove was a um, camp chef, which didn't hold up very well. I had a lot of problems. Well, I got about 500 meals on it. I mean, the one burner still works on the other stove, but it's leaking propane. And I could replace a bunch of parts, but the parts would be almost 100 bucks by the time you replace them all that were worn out. So I you know, put that other stove in the, in the um, attic, and I could pull it out if I need a second stove or something. But this one should be good for lots of cooking. And you know, I do a lot more cooking now that I'm into the healthy eating thing. And um, yeah, I know it seems like I brought two coolers for uh, two nights. But, you know, while well, the ice and stuff, and they're really packed full of vegetables and fruit and stuff. You know, I like to keep the even though the fresh fruit doesn't necessarily have to be kept uh, chilled in the heat, it lasts longer. And I just like having a wide variety of good, healthy things to eat each, each meal. You know, keep things interesting and to keep the nutrition up. But yeah, the sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. Last night, believe it or not, it rained. I know. It's going to be the weekend that didn't have a ton of rain. Well, it didn't have a ton of rain until a uh, thunderstorm came rolling through at 7 o'clock when I was driving back to camp. And it, it poured and poured. Got back to camp, it drizzled a bit and rained. And everything was soaked. Things are drying out now. But I was hoping for a weekend without rain, but it doesn't seem likely this year. It's been the, uh, the period, the first half of July was the wettest half of, first half of July ever recorded in Albany at least since uh, uh, 1938 in the airport. And I heard it was the wettest since at least the 1870s. That's your climate change for you. And uh, here in vacation, it's not gonna be a rain out, but it looks like there'll be showers and uh, on and off started out. But uh, it is what it is, can't change the weather. Just gotta get out and enjoy it. First time I've had a decent enough weekend to get out though, uh, at all. I mean, the last time I was out was uh, Juneteenth weekend, which was five weeks ago. And it rained a good portion of that weekend too, which sucked, but uh, yeah, uh, it's been good. Uh, I'm glad to be up at Betty Brook. I like it up here. I just hate the road back here. I know it's three quarters of a mile. I go slow. It's fine, but uh, uh, the other thing too is that uh, um, the Eminence Truck Trail up here, which is probably the most direct way up here, it's gotten pretty rough. I mean, it was great for a while, but it's gotten washed out from all the rain we've had this year. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's passable in the four-wheel drive, and I went up there with the four-wheel drive, but I was going slow, because I, I just don't want to beat the heck out of this truck if I can avoid it. But, uh, yeah, it's been great. Uh, my flags are all wet from all the rain we got, and then obviously my, my uh, uh, swim trucks and the towel's wet too, but uh, hopefully they'll dry out somewhat when I'm out mountain biking today in uh, Stamford down to um, Bloomville. That part of the... Um, of the Catskill Scenic Trail isn't so rough. It was the section around Grand Gorge. Until you get closer to Stanford, it's, it's, it's grass and gravel, and some of it's rough gravel and stone, which is, I mean, mountain bikes, it's what it's for, but again, I don't want to wreck my brand new toy right away on the really rough terrain, breaks folks, you know, trash the suspension, so I try to go pretty easy on it, but, uh, you know, still, I mean, although the race of mountain bike is the low gears, I hate in town how low the gearing is, I'm you know, up in the high range pretty quickly, but when you get the rougher terrain, that low gears are great, you can just cruise along at a real slow speed, and you know, the mountain bike has real quick turning, and the suspension has quite a bit of give when you unlock it, so that's nice, although it's still rough on the, the rear end, and uh, this isn't a uh, great seat, this the seat has almost no padding, I'm, that's one of the first upgrades I'm going to make to this bike, is put a new seat on it. I even thought about doing that before vacation, and then this, this also this headlight kind of sucks. I got this off my old bike, 
And uh, I mean, while it works, and it actually got better after I cleaned the contacts on it, it's still not great. Oh yeah, this is my uh, Super Duty lock I got. I mean, uh, it's a Class 9 U-bolt uh, lock. It's nice, nice, pretty good strong one. It's, it's, it's hardened steel. I know some people say, oh, you got a Class 10 or close to Class 15, but I mean, I'm just gonna, I mean, the main reason I have it is for out, you know, camping and, you know, locking it up or when I run to the store in Del Mar. And it's certainly a lot better than a cable lock. They can be cut easily. But, uh, and I might take it to, the, to work. Um, use it at the, um, but if I do take it to work, I'm going to park it at the Capitol and lock it up there next to the security gate. And I feel like if someone's out there with a, a hacksaw, they're going to be hacking away at it for a minute or two. And in theory, in the middle of the day, that's pretty bold right next to the state police headquarters there where the you know, security is. Or maybe more likely, I'm going to use a in torch, which I don't think that's going to happen because that would really be out of right below the governor's office and no one cares. But, uh, yeah, and I mean, also, I can sometimes lock it up in one of my offices where I work, too, if I'm working over the other office, and I'll be inside and even more secure. But yeah, I should get going today. I pack things up, and I want to get out mountain biking. I just want to make sure these flags get dried out before I start uh, taking things down, because they're still a little damp. But, uh, yeah, it should be a nice day. I want to swim some more, you know, do that ride, and just take advantage of it. That was great chatting. We're at 12 minutes. I don't want to use all my time up now on my phone, or I'm actually on my camera, digital camera today. But uh, yeah, well, have a great day, everyone. Probably the next video I'll post will maybe be a vlog, but then uh, be out of vacation in the Finger Lakes in four days. Well, I'll have a great day. Thanks.